Good evening and welcome to Sunday Night Bible Study with Pastor Josiah Shipley at Whitman Baptist Church. We're uh, still in between uh, series for Sunday Night Bible Study. We finished our series on the book of Revelation a few weeks ago, whew, which I'm glad. Uh, last week we spoke on Ephesians 1.11. We're going to start a series very soon on um, some of the feasts and festivals mentioned in the Bible, particularly in the New Testament, so that you can know what those are. Um, right now on Sunday night in the in-person Bible study, we're doing some studies on textual criticism. Um, it, it suited better for in-person Bible studies, uh, but it, it, if people want or need to hear it, we might do some online also. But for the time being, until we start our study on the Feast of the Bible, uh, I want to do a short video on a passage in Deuteronomy 7. So, this is Deuteronomy 7, 6 through... 11, uh, this is one worth uh, reading over and over, church. So listen. Deuteronomy 7, 6 through 11. This is God speaking to his people Israel. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. Yahweh your God has chosen you to be a people for his treasure possession out of all the peoples on the face of the earth. It is not because you are more in number than any other people that Yahweh has set his love on you and chose you. For you are the fewest of all people. But it's because the Lord loves you and is keeping it over you swore to your fathers. But the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that Yahweh your God is God, the faithful God who keeps his covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. He repays those who repays to their face those who hate him by destroying him. He will not slack with one who hates him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore be careful to do the commandment, the statutes, and the rules that I command you today. Just a few things real quickly. We could go into a lot of things. This is after, after God has given uh, the people the Ten Commandments. Um, this is the book of Deuteronomy, the last book of Moses. And I want you to listen very carefully to why God loves his people. Why does God love his people? Your people holy to the Lord. Remember, Lord in all caps means the personal name Yahweh or Jehovah is used. Your people for his treasured possession. Out of all the peoples on the face of the earth. It's not because you are more in number that the Lord set his love on you and chose you. Because you are actually the fewest of people. But it's because the Lord loves you. So that again. Why does God love you? Verse 8. Because he loves you. That's Deuteronomy 7, 6 through 11. I want you to think about that. Of his people Israel, in this passage, his people, and that would be, we are his people. If you're a born-again believer and the son of God, if you trust in Jesus Christ, you are one of God's children. You're one of his people. A, a holy people, a peculiar nation, as Peter calls us. A royal priesthood. It wasn't anything in Israel. It wasn't their, their military size. It wasn't the type of people because they were nothing and nobody. The reason God loves them is because he loves them. Church, believer, son of God, the reason God loves you is because he loves you. If you are a parent, think of your child and you will understand this at least to the smallest of an nth of a degree of how much God loves you because it can't compare. I didn't start loving Ava when she started loving me or Naomi, because in one sense they still don't, kind of. I actually loved them before they were ever born, before they had ever done anything right or wrong, before they had made me happy or disappointed me, I already loved them. God loves you because he loves you. And according to 1 John, the only reason you love him is because he first loved you. God loves you because he loves you. Now, how do you show that love to him? It's not through singing the song or getting emotional or praying six times a day and crying while you do it or uh, raising your hands in worship or anything. Not that those things are wrong. My point is that's not how you show God love. What does it say right here? You show him love, verse 9, by keeping his commandments. Those who love him and keep his commandments. Jesus himself said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And I tell Ava this all the time. You show, I, I tell her, you show me you love me by obeying me. You show God you love him by obeying him. Guys, 
Obedience is what God desires. 1 Samuel 15.22 To obey is better than sacrifice, better than any religious pomp or, or service. To obey. Obeying God is how you show Him you love Him. He loves you because He loves you. You show that you love Him by obeying Him. Do not forget that. That's what the Word of God says. Deuteronomy 7, 6 through 11. Read it, read it, love it, love it, and show God you love Him by obeying Him. Love you guys.